Did you know that a 1 inch rain on a 1,000 square foot roof generates more than 600 gallons of runoff water? Hello, this is County Extension Agent John Pennington for Agriculture and Water Quality in Washington County and today I'm going to be talking about how to build a rain barrel to protect water quality. In Arkansas we average nearly four feet of rainfall every year. Don't let that water escape. Capturing that free rainwater in a rain barrel for later use is a great way to conserve water and save money on garden and landscape irrigation. You can build your own rain barrel using a 55 gallon food grade barrel and easily accessible tools and parts. There are numerous ways to build a rain barrel and this is just one example that is inexpensive and easy to assemble. Beyond the barrel, the supplies needed include 3 quarter inch pipe to garden hose connector, 3 quarter inch bulkhead tank fitting, 3 quarter inch spigot, Teflon tape, and fiberglass window screen. The tools needed will include a reciprocating saw, a drill with a one inch drill bit and a one and a half inch hole bit, an adjustable crescent wrench, a staple gun, and scissors or a utility knife. First, start by drilling a one inch hole in the top or a pilot hole to cut the top out and another one two inches down from the top on the side of the barrel for the overflow. Using the one and a half inch hole bit, now drill the hole for the bulkhead take fitting where your spigot will screw into about two to three inches from the bottom of the barrel. Now using the reciprocating saw, cut out the top of the barrel leaving at least one inch of the rim so the screen can be secured later. Use a utility or pocket knife to clean the plastic burrs from all the holes and cuts in your barrel. Now it's time to wash out your barrel. Depending on what it contained, a long handled scrub brush may be needed. The 3 quarter inch pipe to garden hose connector can be screwed directly into the 1 inch hole near the top of your plastic barrel. Just be sure that the narrow threads go into the barrel so the wider threads are ready for a six to eight foot length of garden hose. To provide stability for the hose bib and prevent leakage, the three quarter inch bulkhead tank fitting works great. Insert the male end of your bolt shaped bulkhead fitting through the inside of the barrel keeping the rubber gasket between the bolt head and the inside of the barrel and screw on the nut from the outside and be sure to do this counterclockwise as this is a counterclockwise threaded tank head fitting. Wrap the threads of the hose bib with Teflon plumber's tape and screw it into the bulkhead tank fitting hand tightening until the spigot faces downward. Now cut a piece of screen large enough to cover the top of your barrel and staple it into the one inch plastic rim around the tops of the barrel. This will prevent mosquitoes from entering the barrel and laying eggs and will also keep leaves out of your barrel. Once you've got it stapled down Trim the edges with a utility knife or scissors along the inside rim to give it a neat look. And that's it. You're done. Your rain barrel is built. Now your rain barrel needs to be outfitted at the house. And the first step will be to find out what kind of platform you want to set your rain barrel on top of. Wooden crates or 
Concrete blocks or bricks are all great options and you will need this rain barrel elevated on such a platform because the water flow works by gravity. Once you are happy with the height of your barrel it is time to mark and make your cut on the downspout. Disconnect the elbow at the bottom of your downspout and hold the disconnected elbow up to the downspout to mark where to cut the downspout to provide at least two inches between the elbow position and your rain barrel. This will be necessary so that you can easily remove the rain barrel for future maintenance. Cut the downspout at this line and now reconnect the elbow to the downspout and place your barrel underneath it and you are now ready to harvest rainwater from your rooftop. Another great option to use is to simply remove the metal portion of your gutter system and to put in place a flexispout which is also a convenient way to direct water to your rain barrel from your downspout. Be sure to have some watering cans, a hose, and a soaker hose to use your rain barrel. Remember to drain it in winter so that it does not freeze and bust the barrel. And you may need to clean out algae and redo the screen on an annual, biannual, or triennial basis. And if you'd like to, you can even paint it. Now you have a rain barrel in place that you can use to harvest rooftop runoff and protect water quality. For more information on protecting water quality, contact your local county extension office or watershed partnership. This podcast was funded by the Arkansas Natural Resource Commission and Environmental Protection Agency.